Hey, what's up, fighters? Fightman64 here, and welcome back to some more Sonic Riders. In the last episode, we completed the hero story mode. So in this episode, it's time to play as Team Babylon and take on their story mode for the first half of it. Featuring Jet Wave and Storm. And we'll be learning more about them and how they appear in the game. So anyway, so before we start, if y'all could do me a huge favor and punch that like button on this video, I would really appreciate it. And also, please consider subscribing to the channel if you are not a subscriber already, because we are only less than 20 subs away from our goal of 200 subs. And if you're watching this video as a non-subscriber, subscribe today and let's accomplish this goal. But with that being said, time to play at the Babylon Rogues. Starting now. Hey, boss! Uh, uh, You've got some major trouble! Storm, at least learn to knock before entering a room. What's this? Oh, is this? Yeah! That's when I took over things for my father! So is this the key to the fabled Babylon Garden? I wonder, could it be true? Could our ancestors have left behind hidden treasures that's just waiting to be discovered? Hmm... Uh-uh! If you get your greasy little hands on this, you'll probably use it in some crazy experiment of yours! Oh, come on! I only want to look at it! You always say you only want this or that. Remember the teachings of our ancestors. Be careful what you ask for. Ultimately, you'll only get three true wishes. Oh, be quiet. Why'd you burst in here anyway? Well, an egghead, egg salad, no. Someone called Eggman wants to speak to you. He told me that he has an interesting proposition for you. Stop interrupting. Knock it off. Hmm. <sighs> Am I interrupting anything? So then, I heard you wanted to see me? Are you Jet, the legendary rogue? Your reputation precedes you. I've heard so much about your infamous group. Enough! What do you want? Well, I heard a rumor. A rumor that you have the key to Babylon Garden. Now, could this be true? Huh? What's this key? <laughs> really now? You don't have to be so distrusting. Were you aware of this? I imagine not yet. The key to Babylon Garden is... Huh. So let me get this straight. We just need to collect all these Chaos Emeralds, right? Sounds easy. You really think so, eh? What do you mean? Are you saying the Babylon Rogues aren't capable of stealing some puny Emeralds? No, of course not, but have you seen this character before? He's called Sonic and said to be the fastest creature on Earth. I've had many, many dreadful encounters with this pest. Hmm, he may be the fastest creature on the ground, but in the air, with me and my extreme gear, he's just a joke. <laughs> So, our objective here is, we gotta show Sonic what we're made of. Because this is literally the same thing that we saw at the very beginning of, uh... Of the game. Except this time, we, we gotta do it in-game! Now, I'm just gonna say this right now. For Sonic Rider in this version, I actually like the characters in the Babylon Rogue more than they... Than I, uh, really do for... Uh, Team Sonic because their character, in my opinion, they have a lot more interesting things to go about this. Uh, also, I am gonna say this right now. I, I, I hate this stage. This is probably gotta be one of my least favorite stage uh mm, to be on. But but basically, what the the. The track that we're doing is pretty much an alternate version of Metal City. Which, what you're 
going to see here for Team Babylon is that we're going to be playing an alternate version of of uh, e each track that we have done before. So anyway, yeah. Be sure you uh, expect this part uh, too. Uh, oh, that might have been a mistake. So anyway, yeah. So as you guys saw right there, I pretty much ran out of air. So whenever you run out of air, you just gotta run to a pit and, well, get more air. That way you can have enough air to complete the race. And pray to God that you don't get worse than first. Or anything like that. Anyway, the, the thing I really hate the most about this port is is the the meta object that you have to to dodge, of course, because as I said, it's obnoxious, and I hate this track so much. As much as I hate to say that, but it's true. And I, I, I think that might have costed me the race. I'm not sure though. Ha ha! No, I, no, it didn't. Even with me running out of air twice, it didn't matter at the end. So anyway, about this stage, I, I hate this stage. Mostly because of police car, and there's a lot more objects than there usually is, of course. Now, if you were a power type character for this stage, that would not be a problem for you. For all other types like speed and fly type, that's a different story. And it makes this stage a lot more difficult. But basically what I'm saying here is Night Chase is more the advantage for power type. That's basically where I'm getting at here. But oh boy, am I ever relieved that we're done with Night Chase. But this totally isn't the last time we're going to be doing this stage. But anyway, yeah. Way schedule added to mission mode. For Storm mission, we have th the track f for Team Sonic. Uh, Team Babylon, however, we get the alternate version of that, which is for Way schedule. And Night Chase is unlocked. So anyway, let's continue. I get it, okay? It just floats, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> huh? Sorry, but it's just too funny. Let's Let see. Huh? That gear's unusual. Customized it myself. Hmm. This, this isn't is half, half bad, bad for an amateur. amateur. Still, Still, you can never, never be, be too, too careful. careful. <laughs> well, I never imagined anyone would enter the race with such a piece of junk. <laughs> Thanks, though. It was good for a laugh. <laughs> See ya, shorty. Oh, that girl, who does she think she is? Well, now we know why Wave play planted a bomb on Sonic's uh, extreme gear. But now we guys, what we gotta do is defeat Sonic's pet, Amy Rose. Amy, as you guys very well could have guessed already, she is a speed type. Just like Sonic and Jet. Now, Red King, and this is actually a stage I actually like way more than I do for Night Chase, because, let's face it, Night Chase, I, I hate it, as I said a few times. And it's for good reasons, too. Because it's more of an advantage for power type more than uh, anything else. That being said. And for this story mode, this is Amy's only appearance with racing in game. Uh, pretty much. 
or actually no, I I'm wrong at that about that. Cause, but she does appear in like one more raid. But that isn't till like uh what way later on, of course. Now having to choose between Flash Cannon and Red Cannon, I I probably say I like Red Cannon more because I I really love the design for the track. So it really isn't as much where you can tell uh, simply by the map, of course. The shortcuts are also very useful here, uh, as well. Uh, now, what I'm going to say about Nightshade, all I'm going to say is that is the race I could have watched because Well, I've already made my point, so I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> so anyway, let's put this Sonic problem to bed and win this rain. Uh, we're not going to be able to overlap any anyone, of course. Not like we did uh, with Knuckle when we competed against Storm at uh, Egg Factory. Anyway... Yeah. Okay. Race number two done. Mm. And I say that we keep going. New wave mission unlocked as well. And Red Canyon. Sorry! What? Boss, the, the red dude beat me in the race. <laughs> Man, you really are worthless. Boss, it wasn't my fault. He, he must have cheated. That's it. He must have used some special type of gear. What? Are you implying that you lost because of my gear? No one can tune a gear the way I can. Accept it, buddy. It's not the board. Your skills just suck. What? S -s -s suck? Yes. S-U-C-K. Suck. S -s -s Stop it! Now, let's get down to business. I believe our colleague Eggman, he's gotta be hiding something. And you know, I don't like secrets, so I've got a job for you, Storm. Sure. I want you to sneak into Eggman's base and find out what he's hiding there. Make sure you look carefully. You got it, boss. Hey, before you go, bring something back or don't return at all. Yes, sir. <laughs> Talk about a short temper that shit have. <laughs> anyway, so I guess now it would be a good time to talk about the robots that are in this game. Yeah, the one that we have competed with many times. And these are the E10,000 Greens. So, of course, as you might as well guess, they are Eggman Hitchman, of course. Uh, well, created by them, as a matter of fact. So anyway, so the, the E-10,000 gr green robot, these guys are power types, meaning that can, they can break through any object and also take shortcuts. I, I would have, yeah, I told, I probably would have talked about them earlier, but... I didn't really have a reason to since, uh, they're, they're not really the main part of the objective, and mostly these green robots, they're, they're, they're really a joke, and they're so really easy to beat. 
And there is how you get to the pit stop. Which we didn't even need at all. I, I probably should have used it while we were playing it ch as nice chase, but whatever. At least I was able to win the race without having a retry. A and I also messed up my jump. But that doesn't matter because there's not even a single robot ass right behind us at the moment. Pretty much burying them in the dust, uh, matters of fact. So, anyway. So, whenever you're performing tricks on, uh, this day, you want to make sure you get the best rank possible. So, and I guess I should tell you what all the ranks are while we're doing this. So, the C rank, of course, is the worst ranking, which you didn't perform a trick or you crash landed before finishing a trick. Uh, the uh, rank R is the next to lowest one. Uh, rank A is third to lowest. D double double A is next. Uh, rank S, rank double S, and the best rank you can get is rank X. Now, for mission mode, this is also something you're gonna have to uh, remember by later, and I just, I just decided to pick up the, uh, hearted ring for no reason, just so I could just, well, get out of the way before any of the green robot possibly picks it up. But thankfully, none of it even mattered at the end. Storm is number one, we get first place for the third time of the Babylon Road Team. And we are done here. I would call it an episode right here, but I think we have time for one more. So let's get to it. Of course, we get another wave mission, and we got another track unlocked. Storm so long. Just sit down and relax. Chill, Wave. Really, Jet? How can you be so relaxed at a time like this? Don't you see? As the leader, you've got responsibilities. Some you understand, but you. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Time for a little fun. Huh? Hey, Jet! You come back here right now. Why do I even bother? Unless I take charge, nothing ever gets done here. Way talking so fast and the jibber jabbering about Jet being the the boss of the Battle of Rogues. <laughs> I could not help but laugh about that. But anyways, so now we're doing White Cave. Nothing really too special about this one, but there are, of course, once again, multiple branching sections. But anyway, yeah. So, we're not having to take down any rival for any chance. Because the only rival we took down was Amy. Which we did with Wave, of course. Yeah. About the reaction with that Babylon Rogue to make. With Wave, Storm, and, and Jet, of course. I actually like their characters and personality, because... Hmm. They, they know how to make a comedy out of it, and that's part of what I love about them. 
I mean, some people may not like Chip be just because he is a uh, bossy to his own team and whatnot, and of course a cocky one, but me personally, I like Chip as a character, and I like him quite a lot, and I can pretty much say the same for him about uh, Zero Gravity as well. But I will say that I like this version way better than I do for Zero Gravity, of course, because some of the changes they made in Zero Gravity, I did not like those changes. Which is why I didn't do this game, do uh, Zero Gravity 100%. This game, as I said, that is something that I will be doing. And I did make sure to practice, as I said earlier. I won't give my overall opinion about Sonic Riders yet, but... Somewhere along the line, I will say something about it. I also do like the design of these centipedes, by the way. Those centipedes look, uh... Pretty cool, honestly. Even if music is awesome, too. That is another thing I like about, uh, this game. Some of the tracks are good, and then there's some that are somewhat good. But anyway, once again, we dominated the race. And we reached the final once again. However, I think we're going to call it an episode here. So, once again, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching this, and if you liked it, don't forget to punch that like button. Because next time, we're going to be wrapping up the rest of Babylon Story Mode. Join me back here next time. So, once again, I am Fightman64. See you all. Have a good day. Game on, my friend, and take care. Goodbye, everybody, and stay safe.